episode 103 of my let's play series what are we going to be doing today well we're actually going to be continuing to work on the mob farm we're actually going to be hopefully installing the crusher today well that's what i'm thinking so anyway i've got a rough idea exactly what i'll be doing oh an enderman's in there just don't look at him we should be okay i didn't look at you mate go stay away i'm getting out my sword okay so the idea is to create slits here Oh my god. <laughs> Jiminy crickets. None of you are gonna ju jump on my head now. Thank you. Okay. It's creepy. I'm gonna noise. Okay, so we're gonna open this up and create slits. So hopefully when they, you know, get walk on it, they get pushed into the little slit. There's a crusher down there and they'll get crushed. Originally, I'm pretty sure the original one used um um, 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 it used to drop, it used, like dropped underneath the ocean there, and you know they would take full damage. But not this time; they're just going to be crushed. And the sun's actually going down, so we're gonna, I'm gonna wait a couple of minutes, and hopefully sleep in the bed before we go down. Was that a creeper? <gasps> Whoa! Far out, man. I'm not falling for that scare tactic. He's glitching from the top of the farm. <laughs> Okay, sun's going down, so we can get rid of the ender pearls in here. Now, I don't have my axe on me, so we are going to have to create a... I thought I created a stone axe earlier. I know, I know, I should have got my axe, but oh, well. I did create a stone axe. Okay, yeah, I'm going to get a, get in a lot of crap for that, but... um. Yeah, I didn't have my axe on me, so I quickly put to together just a stone axe. It's better than using my fists. That's what I thought anyway, because um, I didn't think I was going to be building out of wood. And of course, I don't have my axe on me, and now I'm never going to hear the end of it. So, what we need to do first is create a wor safety working platform. Like scaffolding, okay? Which, you know, you guys always know that I like scaffolding, and usually there's tons of it underneath my builds. So we can put everything on it. So we'll just go out a few blocks like this. Oh, that's oodles. So push some of this in my there. Okay. Wind it up a little bit. We don't have to go too far. Let's just go two more blocks on both sides and that's it. And that will be a safe working environment. So we can play with redstone and everything else and not have any huge situation where I fall because I've fallen enough off this damn thing which everybody knows because they watch me build it live and uh, I've fallen a couple more times as well off camera okay so now we can get rid of this yeah it's a little bit faster than using your hand because yeah all right let's get rid of all this wood real quick no nasty. See, this is why we got to sleep during the daytime right now. Oh, not the day during the day during the night because if it gets nighttime, mobs spawn all the way around us, and then we're gonna have creepers dropping in on us and skellies. And I try to avoid that situation. Don't want any data rage. Okay. All right. Okay. So what we'll do now is create an edge like that for the for the pistons to sit on and then we can plan everything out okay so this needs to come out a bit more so let me just plan stuff out in because you know I, I think I think it's gonna work see so piston goes there and it wait a second because the middle here is gonna be the middle is gonna be like this and that's where it's meant to push the mob against it Whoops, went too far that time. But this section's not going to get crushed at all. Because we're going to have a piston here as well. Wait, wait, this is not going to work. Oh, man. Yeah, no, because it's going to conflict. Piston there and piston there is going to conflict. Hmm. Let me think, let me think. 
can work this out. We can work this out. Um, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. See, these two, conf these pistons don't conflict, do they? And if you build a stone wall there, and a mob drops in there, the piston's going to still extend, and same with this side. Right? Uh-oh. I'm not looking at you. Go away. So, that means all we have to do is convert this second level into the crusher. Oh, come on. I dare you to. Just touch... Just not gonna... Stupid thing. Okay, so, back to what I was doing. Um, yeah, no, the wall is here. That is perfect. Can't get any more perfect than that. Let's mark it out. So, it looks like we're converting the first level, actually, into the crusher, and we're not building another one. That is cool. See, this will work like this. You know, they fall down and... Yo, whoa, whoa, quick, get out of it. Yo, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, all right, that's how it works. So, all right, good stuff. Phew, oh, I was really worried then. I thought, uh-oh. So let's just build this up all the way around because that's what they'll be getting crushed against. So instead of being 20 levels, it's going to be 19 because we're technically using the bottom level, this bottom level as the crusher. So this now is the first level. And then it goes up. So 19. So that will be 1. And then the top one will be 19. Instead of this one being 1. Okay. That's the crusher. Okay. So what what we have to do, if you didn't know, an enderman is actually three blocks tall. And this obviously produces enderman. So um, if you didn't know, when the piston extends, it won't actually kill an enderman. Because it needs to crush their head. Their head needs to be crushed for it to for them to suffocate that's how it works all right so the only way we're going to bypass that now is we have to move this entire thing rip this entire thing up and move it down one and put piston double pistons in so let's do that real quick um, we can go up one here just convert convert this one here all right so we need to do this to all the sides as well so get rid of this get rid of the wood on this one um, sticky piston. There we go. So, you know, two high person, which which I'm too high right now, obviously is going to get crushed. And the third high one, which is the, the Enderman, will get crushed as well. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, so this is not too bad. I will, oh, man, I was stressing out. I thought, uh-oh. All right, let's break this block and convert these other sides over as well while we're at it. So I'm going to, looks like I'm going to have to go down there and remove all that scaffolding. It was really for nothing. It's just a clump of junk down there. Disappointing. Doesn't matter. All good. All good. One thing at a time. See, once the crush is done, then we don't have to panic so much. And we can actually, we might be able to put the, uh, all the blocks in on all those, all those, so it actually can start working at night time. I wouldn't be too concerned anymore. All right, let's just do the floor first, and then we'll come back and... Whoa. There we go. This should be the last one. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go down there and get rid of all that. All right, there we go. Okay, so now we do the same thing here. Double the pistons, just for those endermen. There we go. Whoop, mistake, mistake. Put them too far forward, data, you fruit loop. That's better. And then cobblestone. No, actually, we won't do the pistons yet. I don't want to get crushed. Alright, this one too. Pistons. And that, that one's done. Okay, so... Alright, so we get rid let's get rid of all the wood on it so we don't have any oopsie daisy getting crushed and I don't want to test my own crusher. That is bad. And then we need a bit some scaffolding around the back because we gotta somehow hook up the back. I'm gonna be using pressure plates on hoppers. So when they die, the hopper will still stuck up the loot because you know when a mob's standing on a pressure plate, it you know puts a signal out and will stop items from being sucked up into the hopper. But as soon as the mob dies 
it will just suck up all the items anyway. Unless this farm is extremely blooming crazy fast out of control, then you might have item problems, but I doubt it. This is an old farm, and we're going to just try bring her back to life and see if she's got still got it. Back in the day, she was pretty quick, but I'm not sure about nowadays. Okay. Whoops. You fruit loop again. So, oh, we got, we, I got pressure plates on me, but we need to get out of here and real quick. So, off we go. Where is the exit? Over here. We need to grab some hoppers, which I brought over a few stacks before. So, let's grab those few stacks. And we need to make some more pressure plates, which I'm damn sure that I have. I already have plenty of pressure plates. There we go. Um, cobblestone will do. Repeaters as well. Good. Let's get back in there. Oh, man. Okay, so let's hook up one. We need... First, we need to get rid of this line here. Oh, fuel. That's good. All right. So, what we'll do is run the hoppers on this line we're standing on. Yeah. Yep, yep. That's about right. All the way around. All the way around. We'll connect it up to something later on. Holding shift. So I don't fall out of anything. Okay, so what we'll do is hop her there. Like that. So this will suck up the items. One one row will do one side. We might actually have another row of hoppers underneath. So even if the thing's been powered and there's items in it, the bottom hopper will suck them out. Or should suck them out anyway. Well, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. Nope. Oh. That's where the item is going to run to. Not a hundred percent sure if this will work okay. If it doesn't work okay, we can just come back and tear it up. That's all good. I'm not. I'm not extremely worried. Something. Could, this could be fixed up nice and easy. Okay. So the hoppers are in, and we've got to put the wall back in. We just need a a side to stand on. Okay. So. This wall can go back in. Oh, what? I don't get it. Oh, okay, yep. We're going to rip out this one here. Along here. Well, we could have just put repeaters. Yeah, no, that's fine. Because now, if we get our repeaters out, like that. Uh oh, it's getting dark time. Hold shift. Yep. All right, quick, go, 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 go. I don't want nasties. They're going to start spawning. Where are you? Go, 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 go. Oh, phew. It's all we need is just all these creepers and everything dropping. I know the farm's not even technically meant to work, but trust me, in a live stream, it did. It was working. Oh, I thought that was a bad guy then. Okay, so let's just do this side and see how we can see if it will, we can make it work. Alright, so what we'll do is dig out the back, and we'll just have a quick squiz of what we can do. Um, torches. We're going to need some of those. See, that's not going to work unless we... Yeah, see, that's a constant power. We don't want that. Hmm. We don't want constant power. And we don't. Okay, so yeah, and we don't. We want to have the things individual as well. So what we may have to do is double that, and then go up. So it's double, and then we just go like that. Bring it up one, and back like that, and then a block on top like that. So nice little delay. So when the mob does finish getting crushed, the items fall down, power turns off with tracks, and then any mob standing on top will fall down. But wait a second. Yeah, no. That should work nice, and it should work well. Okay. Alright. Okay. So, even if we did that right now, we stun on it. Yep. I thought so. Okay. It's going to work fine. It's going to work fine. I'm happy. 
Good stuff. Okay, so that's what we need to do to all of them. Oi, stop working. Thank you. Alright, let's go at the back and do it. Scaffolding. Man, the bottom of this is probably looking like a mess right now. I've got to clean this up. Got to clean it up. Okay, so we put all these in first. Like that. Put a row of torches in here. Bum, bum, bum. And this, 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 this. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Can I get rid of that one? Uh oh. How about I just do this? There we go. And there we go! That should be the whole lot done. We just need to put those, um, come back here a bit. So I'll probably block all this up to, to, to make it level with the, the jump itself. So... Oh yeah! That's gonna hurt like crazy. Alright, same thing here. Quite easy. And then we could just fix it up. At Let's do it again. Ooh. So we need to obviously put this on there. Okay. Hopefully this works. This bloody better work. Oh. I'm running out of cobblestone. Uh, torch. Alright, let's do them all at the same time. Okay. I don't even know how laggy this thing's going to be. You can you can picture all these pistons going off. It's just going to be crazy. And the noise. Oh, wow. The noise is just... It's going to be intense. I'll tell you that. It's just going to be crazy. And then blocks along the top. Perfect. Now we can get rid of this. There we go. Okay, we'll leave this there for now. And same thing. We've already done two out of four. Another two to go, and then we are done. All works. Oh man, they're gonna die. They're gonna get squished. Okay. Again here. So, you'll never see the Crusher, so you can, we can just do it out of cobblestone. That is fine. Like, if you've seen the Crusher, then I could totally understand, like, you wanting to use, you know, a nicer material, because obviously, cobblestone is not the best-looking block in the game. Um, the reason why I built this entire structure out of cobblestone was... That was the point. It was the... It, 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 the original farm was made out of cobblestone. It's the easiest resource to get... It was made out of cobblestone, and um, yeah, it, it blends really well with the blue wall. You know, once the blue wall starts to go on the structure, she should start to look actually quite gorgeous. But um, now, she just looks like one solid block of yuckiness. Don't worry, fix that. We're going to fix that with um, with a bunch of wool, which we're going to get you converting string. So, yeah. Okay. So... Same thing. Yay! Alright. And there we go. Whoa. And there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Alright, one last one to do. Come out here. Then we can start fixing some stuff up. Ooh, gotta be... Actually, we won't do it on that side. Gotta be careful, that is where my chests and stuff are. So, come out the back. Fix this up. It's just a blooming mess in here at the moment. It's actually really bothering me. <laughs> um, so we might actually change the hoppers later on to point straight down. I'm not sure. I've got to do more testing. As I said, this crusher was not... We could do gravity, but I don't really want to do gravity. Because that's just going to require a lot more work. Crusher, I thought, it's just going to be cool. But, you know, you never know. If the crusher doesn't work out, then obviously we'll be, you know, converting to something else. But, um, yeah. Alright, okay. But the whole point is testing. We're, we're not too far away from testing, actually. 
not too far away at all. We got to put a roof on. We got to put all those blocks in. We've got to just have a where all the loot's gonna go. I don't want ha I don't want to like you know just put a roof on now, start the crusher, and then the obviously mobs is constantly coming out. Uh, put the blimmin oh yeah. Okay, so yeah, I don't want to start it now because mobs will be constantly coming out. The crusher will be constantly working. We're trying to work around that. And once if we had to go inside for some for some reason, I don't know. But you know, yeah, it's it's a stupid idea doing that right early. I know people get excited, it's like quick, quick, I'll just, just test it. God damn it! Ah, oh! and they just really crying for a test. But yeah, no. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is start tidying all this up. Um, as I said, I'll probably fill this in to make it uh, uh, level with the, the actual wall and everything, so don't worry, that will be all fixed up. Um, okay, so this side bit can stay. And yeah, it can definitely stay. Alright, let's build that up. Put a wall there. We have to fix the rest from the outside later on when we put the wall in. It's all good. I just want to put the wall back in where it originally was, like that. Fantastic. And slowly, be careful. So now at night time, technically, this might a little bit work. Especially if they're coming for you. But there you go. So the mob falls in. Woo! Yeah, they'll die. <laughs> there we go. So we're slowly just reverse around, hooking it up like this uh, more cobblestone uh, that, we have to build this up higher it's too low, so we'll do that in a sec alright oh man, putting all the scaffolding for the blue walls is just going to be crazy there we go Got to put the forgot to put the what's gonna call it in the wall in. All right. Whoa. Okay. So this will be the last one. I think this will be the last one. And then we're gonna have to get out of here before we get crushed. So fix this up. Slowly reverse. And yes, it is the last one. So let's get out of it real quick. I want an Enderman to spawn. I want to test it. Yeah, he's just going to go down there. He's going to get crushed. Get rid of the ladder. So. There we go. Build this up. Hey, later on we could put a ladder coming through the center. And this could be like, you could build a, a cube of glass in here. You know, that's what I'm thinking. Like a cube of glass, like a, a watchtower or something, so you can come up here and just have a quick look. Now, no, AFKing is stupid in this room. You'll ne don't do not AFK in this room. Holy crap! Holy crap! Do not AFK. Can I get? Can I just get a mob so I can test my my crusher? All right, I'm waiting till it's dark time. We'll try co coax the the blur a mob down here and into this crusher. But it's a stupid idea because we don't know what we're gonna get. Creepers don't know. Actually, it's a bad idea, yeah. It's a bad idea. I don't want a blooper or anything else. Let's just quickly go. Torch, 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 torch. Woof. Go to sleep real quick. Woo. You don't want... I don't want any more... I don't want to want bloopers or anything. Oh. Yeah, that's not too bad. Oh, we forgot to get rid of that. See, if we take... Yeah. Yeah, no, if we put a back plate on it... And just make it sort of level with the second one. It should be fine. Okay, let's continue. Is there any mobs we can coax? No. Is that one up there? No, it's not. So. Alright, we might have to leave that one out for now. So we can get in and out. So, just in case they jump, one more. So, as I was saying before, we could easily put, like, build a glass cube in here. That's what I'm thinking. Just build a glass cube up here. And then, um, 
Yeah, because I'm worried what, what's going to happen is the mob is going to jump as they get pushed off and they might land on here. So we might actually have to build a center of the farm, if you know what I mean. But then if we're going to do that, we'll put like levels in and so you can like view outside. I don't know. You don't have to go up too far, do you? I don't know. Because, yeah, let's just we'll do that one and that one. Actually, I don't want to test it. That's stupid. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm doing this. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's a bad idea. I'm not testing my own farm with all my gear on. <laughs> it's just stupid Fruit Loop data. Oh, crikey. I only got 12 levels, so I don't really have much to lose. Um, yeah, so if we make it about that high, no way they could jump into the middle. Could they? No, they couldn't, even if we make it that high. Because that's going to be a problem. It's, it's, it's going to be an obvious problem. But... That should now work. We should have a functioning crush crusher at the bottom. It's not too bad looking either. It is not too bad looking either. Okay. All right. All right. So what should we? I should actually screw it. I'm going to take off all my gear and I'm going to test my crusher out. Screw it. I decided I'm doing it. Taking one for the team. Oh, whoop, armor. Oh, I need to replace some of this armor. It's getting low. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay, here we go. I'm a normal mob. Once there's a block... Once there's a block there, I'll get pushed in. Oh, this is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, now it's locked me in. I can, oh, I can move. Oh, oh I'm screwed. Uh, yep. I'm locked. Oh. <laughs> My crusher, it works! Alright. Too bad we can't uh, coat, coat, say, uh, uh, uh the, oh, I can't say that word. Get that, get a mob, real mob down there to test it. That would be lovely. Oh, my XP! Oh, well. Only 12 levels. I've got a kick ass XP farm. Let's gear up and let's end this episode. I think we got that crusher done. Now we got to move on to the next job. Probably hooking the portal room up and and uh oh, Ooh. okay. The glitching out at the top of the farm where the the new side rooms are. That's what's going on because the side rooms are not hooked up right now. They're actually closed up, so the mobs are building up up there at the moment. Nothing I can do about that at this time. I don't want mobs falling down here until I put the side panel, the side fall drop things on. Where did I put my stuff in here? One, two, three. Where's my chicken? Can't live without it. And some torches. All right, nice clean inventory. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to call it here. Thanks for watching 103 and join me for episode 104, I think. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if there's going to... Well, the content are gonna is going to come to a grinding halt very shortly. Obviously, because of Christmas time, you know, I'm going to spend time with friends and family. So... Yeah, probably on Christmas weekend, that long that long weekend there, you're not going to see any content. And I'm just warning you now, I'm giving you a heads up for that weekend, so you don't flip out or anything else. Like, where the hell's my god? I don't think no YouTuber, uh, you know, shoots videos on Christmas, unless to, unless to say Happy Christmas or something. I'm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching episode 103. Join me for episode 104. I'll catch you all later.